what is up it is Nick today I thought I'd go ahead and show you guys the squad uh, if you're wondering when I scroll past here I'm all out of launch packs uh, a friend is at college uh, their internet is down there so he threw me 10 bucks we split a launch um, we split the rest of my launch packs um, and I took the best player we pulled and he got everything else for when he gets on whenever that is whenever his internet gets back because we use my account and I funded 33% of it uh, we ended up pulling three elites. Um, I kept the best one, which I'll show, but we also pulled um, Matt Forte and Jordy Nelson. So I pulled another Jordy Nelson on my account. But the player that I added to my squad, which I want to know if you guys think I should sell him or keep him, is this Todd Gurley here, 85 overall. Uh, I pulled him in the final pack of the launches that we were opening. I was about to be getting another Jordy Nelson, but we got this Todd Gurley. I'm going to take him out and use him because I was using Mark Ingram, who's just a scrub, who fumbles the ball. So do not use, do not use the gold Mark Ingram card. It fumbles like a beast. He cannot hold on to the football. Like if you do a spin move and he gets his arm grabbed, it's over. He's fumbling the football. So... Don't use that. Do anything you can to not use that Mark Ingram. I don't care if you have to to discard every single card you have to get another one. Just get another halfback. Don't you? Don't go through the headache of using that Mark Ingram like I have. I went ahead and sold all my gold, so I am up to like 78k. Uh, I wish I had a little bit more. I'm trying to decide if I want to sell this Todd Gurley and go ahead and get Le'Veon Bell and just be set at. Uh, running back for quite some time. Um, I like to pound the ball both online and in solo challenges, so I need a good halfback. Uh, but Todd Gurley, I haven't even got to play a game. I literally just pulled him, and so I decided to do my lineup video today. I was going to do a lineup video anyway, but now I really wanted to do it since we got this Todd Gurley. Let me know, if you guys, if you think I should sell it and maybe get Le'Veon Bell or that flashback to Marco Murray, or if I should just sell him and get another running back. Um, I was thinking about getting Devontae Freeman if I sold this Todd Gurley. He's 84. He has some pretty good stats, uh, and he's only about 20k. Uh, let's see. Let me look at these this Todd Gurley stats. I haven't even really looked at him. He's got 89 speed, 87 carry. Wish the carrying was a little bit higher, but that's not bad. Uh, the acceleration and agility are pretty good. Elusiveness and ball carrier vision, good. Everything looks to be good on Todd Gurley. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna look. I wanna look at the card. Let me look at the card. How do you? You can't look at the card and the player in your lineup screen. Hold up. Hold up. I wanna see what his catching and his blocking and all that different stuff is. All right, where is there? He is. Let me get to his stats. I guess I could have just done this in the thing. Okay. Well, I wasn't thinking. Oh, where is catching? All right, his pass blocking is pretty bad, but that's it's not too big of a deal. I don't use my running back to block that much. He's got good, he's got good spin and juke move as well as stiff arm. Where is his catching? Did I miss his catching? No, here we go. Wait, where's the actual catching stat? All right, where is the catching stat? I totally missed it, which means it's probably good because all these up here were pretty decent. All right, 65 catching, not the greatest. Mostly with my running backs, all they're catching is screen, so that's not a huge deal either with Todd Gurley. But for his stats, I might go ahead and sell him. He's 65K currently, so I might go ahead and sell him just so I can have some coins out of this and uh, maybe pick up that Devontae Freeman. That put me over 100K, which I'd be really happy with. At the, It put me at like 120K, which is really good. Uh, so I think I probably will sell this girly, but I am going to play a couple of solos with him um, before I do sell him. But the offensive line finally got my all-gold offensive line. I should probably sell this Cordy Glenn and downgrade. The same with the Max or Matt Slauson, because they're probably worth a decent chunk. Same with Phil Lodehull. I probably should just go down to 77s or 78 overall gold offensive linemen, uh, because at this point there's not a huge upgrade to these. Uh, guys that I have, but I'll do a little bit more research, see what I can do, and see what viable options I have in on the cheap before I do anything with selling those. Uh, my tight ends I'm happy with. They're pretty much set for now. 
Uh, Martellus Bennett and Austin Safarian Jenkins. Jenkins has 86 speed, and I just like Bennett. Um, he's been playing really well for me. Probably my most reliable receiver at this point. My receivers are questionable. I really do need to improve my receivers. Um, Josh Doxson and Josh Gordon are my outside receivers, and I have Deshaun Jackson in the slot. I actually sniped the Deshaun Jackson for 900 coins. That's the only reason I have him. I was looking just to see what his price was. And he's not that expensive anyway. He's only like 3 or 4 k But I found him for 900 and I was like, okay, well, I might as well just buy him for that because I'm not going to get any receiver cheaper than that. So I picked up Deshaun Jackson, uh, but Doxson and Jordan are... J Gordon, not Jordan. Josh Gordon and Josh Doxson are my two outside receivers. They've been doing pretty well. Gordon has a little bit of trouble catching the football sometimes. Uh, Doxson has a hard time holding on to the football when he gets hit. Like, if he catches the ball and then gets hit immediately, he usually drops it. Uh, Marcus Wheaton has been playing really well for me. He might get bumped up over Josh Gordon or Josh Doxson here soon. Uh, I want to get a possession wide receiver, but they're all expensive, all the ones I want. Uh, there's only a couple that I want. Like, at this stage of Mutt, if it's not the player, if it's not a player I really like or really want, I'm not going to buy him. Uh, and right now... Des Bryant, A.J. Green, Julio Jones, and Alshon Jeffrey, which would be the four that I would really seriously consider getting, are all way too expensive for me to justify buying them, especially Julio. Julio is like 111 k the last time I checked, and I just don't see the point. Um, quarterback, I'm still using Vic, but I do sub in Tom Brady at times. I just don't see a reason to buy a quarterback at this point because Vic does the job that I need him to do, and I'm so incredibly used to playing with Vic. Um, I'm just so incredibly used to playing with a left-handed mobile quarterback that it just makes it so easy for me to play with him. Uh, Patrick DeMarco here, I just have him. I'll probably sell him eventually, but the other night he was going for like 10k, and I was like, there's no point in selling an elite for 10k, so... Let me hold up and see if his value goes up, or I'll just keep him because I do use a lot of uh, I do a lot of triple option, which hands off to the fullback every once in a while. So I do like to have a decent fullback, and I will check out Marcel Reese and a couple other fullbacks. Uh, I saw John Kuhn's pretty cheap, so if I do sell to Mark, I'll probably just go with John Kuhn for the time being. Uh, but that's the offense. Todd Gurley and the three offensive linemen are probably the only ones that are suspect to change here soon. I guess maybe the wide receivers. I guess I could bump Deshaun Jackson up, but I like him in the slot. He does really well for me in the slot. All right, moving on to defense. All gold defense, one elite player being my free, or I call it free. It's not technically free, uh, but the Morgan Burnett you got from the elite pack, they gave you a free elite you saw that buy the pack, I guess, but it was an elite. It was a guaranteed elite. There we go. Guaranteed elite. But we have Whitehead, Collins, and David. David is not going anywhere unless a right outside linebacker that I absolutely love comes out. Levante David, along with Vic and Deshaun Jackson and Antonio Cromartie, are like staples on my team every year because they're just always solid players. Cromartie's a tall corner who can play press man-to-man. -man. He just does really well, and what I like to do, I like to play press man-to-man, -man, and I want a tall re or corner to cover tall receivers anyway, so he does the job there. And the same with David, I like to play my linebackers in zones, and he has really good zone. He has pretty good man, too, so he's just a really good cover linebacker, which is a lot of the things I like my linebackers to do. Uh, free safety, D'Angelo Hall. I have better free safeties, but I like D'Angelo Hall, the player, so I'm just using his free safety card. Uh, I have looked into getting Lawyer Malloy and putting him at strong and moving Morgan Burnett to free, but I haven't decided on anything yet. With Morgan Burnett being stuck on my team, it makes me less apt to buy anybody at strong safety because I have him there anchoring anyway, so I don't really need a strong safety. Uh, the cornerbacks, Marcus Peters, Jason McCordy, Cromarty, and Dennard. Uh, I'll probably upgrade corners here really soon, at least get into the 80s, a couple of 80 overall corners. Once I finish the gauntlet, I should get uh, Joe Hayden, which will really solidify my cornerback. So I'm, I don't have any real concerns or not in too big of a hurry to upgrade my corners since I know that Joe Hayden's on its way. 
Uh, my defensive line, I'm actually really happy with this. The only area that I may upgrade here soon is left end with Eric Armstead. But he's been doing really well getting sacks for me, and so I, I haven't seen a reason to upgrade him yet. But if a card comes along that I like or I see a deal on the auction house, I may upgrade my left end. But the defensive line is probably the most stable and set thing on my team. Um, I like my 2D tackles with Vince Wilfork. I got him on a little bit of a deal. I found one like 2000 cheaper than the rest, so I decided to get him for that price. Uh, the same with Nick Fairley. I actually, or no, I pulled Nick Fairley, and I pulled Jabal Sheard. Uh, it was my other D-tackle. I had another, like, 78 overall D-tackle that I got for the cheap. Uh, I went ahead and sold him because I like Nick Fairley. He was playing, he's been playing really well for me on the D-line. My D-line has been getting to the quarterbacks pretty well on four down, so I'm pretty happy with it right now. I uh, don't really foresee any changes coming anytime soon to that. I guess middle linebacker. Uh, get rid of the starter, Jamie Collins, maybe in order. I think Navarro Bowman is pretty cheap. I think he's like 25 k He may creep into my lineup here pretty soon. Uh, there's a couple elites that may find their way onto my lineup um, pretty soon because they're actually pretty cheap. And I'm assuming if trends follow the way they have the past few years, uh, they will go up. Elites will bounce up here in a week or so when everybody starts getting a lot more coins. Uh, elites will go up. In value a little bit so it might be a decent idea I'm not gonna invest too much into it because it's not a guaranteed thing I think it's happened like two out of the last three months uh, so it's not a guaranteed thing but it is something that does happen uh, just when everybody gets coins uh, and then finally my special teams nothing really special here I do have Brandon Oliver right now playing my third down running back and he's been pretty doing pretty good uh, both in pass blocking on third down and uh, catching screens or passes out of the backfield. Uh, I didn't buy G-Jax to just have him play wide receiver. I wanted him to play kick and punt returner too. Travis Benjamin is pretty good too, so they're my two-headed monster at kick and punt returning. And then Brandon Oliver is just there because it gives him something else to do on my team. Uh, but that is the squad right now. Let me know if you guys think I should make any improvements, what I should do. Uh, I should have something coming out... Um, I may not have anything tomorrow, but on Friday I should have some uh, collections or something coming out for you guys. Um, soon I'm going to be getting into the to uh, online and playing online games, uh, so you can expect some gameplay. I would say in a week or two I should get some gameplay going for you guys. Uh, and then, like I said, the the uh, connected franchise uh, will be starting up. Should be starting up next week. I need to get everything. I need to start getting some stuff edited. I want to get at least two weeks edited so that I can get, uh, commentary done for those and get them kind of on a schedule so I can start all of that. And I want to make sure that, uh, we don't get any sliders here before, uh, too long in case so I can update my sliders before I play too far. I've already played a couple of games, so, uh, I won't have the sliders for those, but, if sliders come out, I would like to get them as soon as possible if someone gets some optimized sliders. Uh, but guys, that's the team. Let me know if you guys see any improvements I need to make. Let me know if you guys think I should sell Todd Gurley, or should I keep him on the team? Um, if I sell him, I'm probably get Le'Veon Bell, because they're almost the same price. Le'Veon Bell is only like 20 k more, and it's pretty clutch pulling this Todd Gurley for myself, uh, because it actually gives me a decent amount of coins, so I should be sitting pretty good uh if i sell a todd Gurley and i don't buy Le'Veon bell i will have a ton of coins then uh but we'll see i have some decisions to make with that as well as the offensive line i think i'm going to work on that now um but i hope you guys enjoyed this episode drop a like if you did subscribe if you haven't let me know what your guys's team is looking like and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out